Hello everyone, welcome back to another vlog. It is Sunday, it is 438 degrees and we've got a drizzly almost snow going. <laughs> so different from yesterday, but I am out because um, Nikki Moss estate sale is having fill a bag, which is my favorite kind of sale. So I'm like up early, I'm coming here, I'm getting my bag filled up. I love a fill a bag. You don't have to think, you just fill the bag. Ah, oh, it's my favorite. So excited. I did come yesterday and got when it was half off. Um, so if you saw that video, that was that was the previous video, whenever this one goes on. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. It looks like only the people that work the sale are here so far. Maybe no one else will come and I can have it all. That's so greedy. Gosh, but I don't anyway. So it opens at 10, it's 9.40. So I'm just gonna hang out here and I've got my bags to take in because what I've found with a fill a bag is they'll give you, usually I think here they give a paper bag um, and then I can put the paper bag in my bag and it has handles and it just makes it easier. So, and what I've learned to do is go through, like if I have two bags with handles, fill those and if I want more, bring those, pay for those, bring those to the car and then go back in. That just works better, you know, but I'm in my coat. I didn't bring gloves. I could honestly have gloves on, so. Anyway, I did some listing on eBay last night. Um, I was so freaking tired last night. Um, but I did push myself <clears throat> to, I had to do some research on some things. So what I'm trying to do is I take the stuff I want to list to my computer and then I look it up first, see if it's going for anything. And then I list, and then I photograph it. In the past, I've just done me mega bulk photographing. And I wouldn't even look up the stuff. I just, you know, and then I would have stuff that wasn't worth it. I'm like, well, that was dumb of you. Why didn't you look it up? So I'm trying to get into that habit. Breaking old habits, look it up before you list it. So I only did like, what did I do? Three or four listings. So it wasn't like a lot, but one thing needed a lot of research. So, you know, that's how it goes. But anyway, looks like somebody, maybe one of the workers bought a furniture piece or something they were loading up. But yeah, I don't, nobody, nobody's getting out and going in a line. So <laughs> I can just sit here and relax. Oh, this weather. I think tomorrow it's back in the 60s. I need to go get my bag from the consignment store. They only took four things. Um, I dropped it off, what, Thursday? They, then I got the message yesterday. They only took four things. I'm like, dang. I can't remember what I put in there. <laughs> Maybe it was crap. So anyway... I'll have to see what they didn't take and if it's worth me listing on eBay. And if it's not, then I'll donate it. No biggie. No big. Oh, that, you can't see it, I don't think. Let me show you. That's what the windshield looks like now, but it's getting like icy. Look at that mid-century modern house. I don't know if I've ever been in that one before. Have I ever been to an estate sale at your house? I'm not sure. But interesting architecture architecture oh gosh i hope it's not icy when i get out of the car that'd be my luck slide on down the road that'd be a vlog in and of itself i have positioned my <laughs> side mirror because i can move them to look people are in line i'm not getting in line it's rainy cold snowy no once the line starts moving i'll get my bags and get out there's hardly anybody here so Yay, I'm so excited. Ooh, there's some vintage spice tins in there. If they're there, I'll just get them all. I'll just take them all. But I don't, I don't, you know, this is why a lot of times I won't go to an estate sale on the first day because I usually can't afford it um, if I want to flip it. So, like, and then if I go, I'm like, oh, I could have that, but I can't. You know what I mean? Like I did go to the warehouse sale yesterday, the other estate sale company, and I'm going to go tomorrow when it's 75% off, but I always am like, you know, it might not be there anymore. And you just have to let it go. The thing with reselling is there's always more stuff. There's no shortage of stuff. If you don't get something at one sale, there's plenty more at the next. There's always more sales. There's always more stuff. So I just don't get emotionally attached to inventory when I'm looking at it like that. Like it's just a business. And if I get it, I get it. If I don't, I don't. And somebody else got it. And I hope they either keep it, enjoy it, or maybe they're going to resell it. And that's just life. No sense getting, you know, I know people get really fixated. They'll get fixated on one thing. They'll see one thing at a sale. And if they don't get that one thing, they're just like, oh, they can't move on. But you can't get emotionally attached. No, 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 no. 
There's always more stuff. Oh, and I'm not going to be filming when I'm in there because it's fill a bag and I need to move quick and I'll have my bags. Um, I'm not going to film in there. So if you saw yesterday's video or the previous vlog, I'm not sure which, there might be a crumble video in here this week. So um, yeah, you can watch it there. Well, this is a realistic look at what you look like after a fill a bag sale. <laughs> It's snowing out now, okay? But when I was in there and you're crowded and it's you're trying to get everything and I'm carrying these bags, it's like started sweating. So I take my coat off, you know, wrap it around my waist. Um, Nikki was so nice. She'd come and get my bags and put them out there. <laughs> and I had to take them in the car. She got her husband to help me. And I am just, I look like a drowned rat. <laughs> but go home and take a shower. But I mean, look, look at me. Oh my God. Don't look at me. What are you looking at me for? Yeah, it is snowy now, but that was so fun. I got a lot of stuff. Like, you know, sometimes you'll see a basket of like magnets. I just threw it in the bag because that my dad likes to go through everything. You know, he likes to, he likes to fiddle with it all. This will give him hours of entertainment. And um, I got some new, like new in the package things I can just take to the consignment store. So, you know, this for me, it honestly is like, it, it's the equivalent of when I used to get my dad crossword puzzle books, you know? Or when I was a full-time reseller and he would do a lot, you know, he did, he did all of the, um, taking all the tags off, mending, repair, and he did all the shipping. He doesn't do any of that now. And even really like when he's sorting stuff, he takes some of the stickers off, but then he gets really tired and doesn't do it, but he likes to look at it all. So that's fine. Like if I can go, I think I got seven bags. Yeah. I paid $35. I think I got seven. I don't know. Six or seven. If I overpaid five, I don't care. So it's such a good deal. Whatever. Anyway, the point is, is that that is a small price for me to pay to give him something to do. I will find things I can put on eBay. I'll find things to take to the consignment store. If it ends up not being anything, I can just give it to Goodwill. It's no big deal. Um, so $35 well spent to me. And it was fun. It's fun to get out again, you know, after the pandemic. Like during the pandemic, if they w I didn't go to a lot of sales because I was just too afraid. And there weren't a lot of sales. Um, and the few there were, I was like, eh, I don't wanna go, even with a mask. So now I feel obviously more confident. I'm fully vaccinated. Five times I've been vaccinated at this point. And I haven't gotten COVID this whole time that I know of. Somebody asked me if I they thought my lo uh, loss of taste for chocolate is due to having COVID. I don't know that I had COVID. A lot of people, most people who got COVID didn't have symptoms which is kind of crazy when you think about it. So maybe I'm one of those magical unicorns that if I did have COVID, it didn't affect me, which is weird because I have neutropenia, but some people didn't. So maybe, but I, I don't have a loss of taste or smell with other things. It's just the chocolate doesn't really seem like it has much flavor anymore, which is weird. And I've heard people say that, that chocolate doesn't. Some things do though, like I'll eat some things, but the um, crumble cookie chocolate, I'm like, where is it? Where is it? But I'm at McDonald's now. It's frappe time. Should I get Papa a strawberry and cream pie? I wonder if he'd eat that. Maybe I'll try that and get him one too. Will he or won't he? Will, I'll get him one. See, they have an apple fritter and a blueberry muffin. He used to like, maybe I should get him the apple fritters back. He used to like apple fritters. But I remember getting him one from here and he didn't eat it. Because now, now everything's chewy. Now it's too chewy. Doesn't like bread or anything like that. So I don't think you do the apple fritter. I'll get the chew. We'll get the strawberry and cream pie. We'll just go wild, okay? We're gonna get the strawberry cream pie and the frappe. And then I'm gonna go home, unload, and then I'm going to get a shower. And then when he has everything all laid out, um, I will show you the pile. It gets, you know, sometimes you're in these things or for me. Oh, hang on, I'll be back. They don't have any pies. She said they're on their way. <laughs> that's okay um oh I was going to talk about what I have which is fill a bag sale paralysis where you're going through the fill a bag sale you know and it's it's five dollars for a large grocery bag you know like you can you can put so much in it and I will be putting stuff in put, and then I'll get just some random thing and I'll pick it up and I'll stare at it and I'll be like should I get this or not should I put it in my bag or not? I'm like girl you just dumped a bag of magnets in your box in your bag and now you're stuck on this random bit. I'm like, gosh, should I put it in my, should I put, and then now it will just like freeze. I don't know. If you've ever been to a fill bag sale, let me know if that happens to you. But I start overthinking things to put in the bag. And they're like, no, just put it in the bag. 
Hook bag. Obviously, if, if it's larger, but I'm talking like I will pick up a random small item that you wouldn't even, it would just fill in a little hole. Wouldn't even know. And I'm just like, I don't know. I don't know what to do with this little thing. What do I do? Oh, what a gross day. I'll be so glad to go home and take a shower. That was an interesting house. It had a lot of steps and layers, but it had beautiful hardwood. Well, I, maybe it had hardwood floors. I didn't even look at the floor, but it had beautiful hardwood stairs going upstairs. So lovely. But anyway, okay. I'm going to be in the line for a while. So we'll check in when I get home and unload. Hi, boys. <gasps> We're home. Yeah, I'm home. Whew. How you doing, Dad? Okay. You having fun? Yeah. Well, I got so. one, two, three, seven bags. <laughs> seven uh, bags. Let's see. Seven. Where, where can we just kind of, what do you want? Well, do you want to throw in something? Yeah, I'll go get a couple totes, okay? okay. All right. Okay, so we're starting to sort um, all this pink depression glass in here. I just brought it out here to wash it. I also have this amber looking. I'll have to ask Misty and Jeffrey if these are anything. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, what I don't keep and that won't go to the consignment store, I can just give it to my brother for his shop. So I've got depression glass, the pink stuff from yesterday I'm washing. And then this got some Minnie Mouse corn husk things, a few little, um, uh, what is this? Flamingo things for Jeffrey. That's from the five and dime 1989. Oh, how cute. Got a little chip, but anyway, um, got all that. Still got the bags, and then this is on the counter. I'm making a bag for my brother. Those are all magnets. What? You want this sock? Yeah, you can save it for your next frappe. I can't find his carrier, so I gave him a sock. We've got, this is so cool. Brand new. More depression glass. That's just some matches for me. Carnival glass, as is. I'm not sure what's wrong with it. Oh, chopsticks. That little thing. It's flatware. I love this. Big old orange cookie jar from vintage Walmart made in Taiwan. How funny. Got some, um, God, what is this called? I can't, anyway, the stoppers are missing, but that's okay. Um, pottery craft, that set. Some new in the package things I got. Nikki wasn't sure if this was Blanco. I don't, I showed it to Misty. Misty didn't think it was. But I didn't give her, I'll have to give her another look at it at the bottom and see, but this is left in. These are Nortaki. Just all the little things that can fit in a container or in a bag I grabbed. I'm hoping I can make some lots up of similar things. I don't know about these magnets. I was just throwing them in there and gets it's something for my dad to do. He like pulls the little stickers off them and cleans them with a toothbrush and some um, nail polish remover. So it's like a project. I'm filming a haul. I'm filming a haul. I show people what I got. Yeah, just showing the video what we got. So like I grabbed this, I can go to the consignment store. This can go to the consignment store. I don't even know, yeah, it has original price tag, but it doesn't have, usually like if it, does, if it wasn't marked, it was $2 to begin with, and then half off day, a dollar, obviously. So not everything has a sticker. This I just thought was funny. Again, consignment store when it comes time. I don't know if this is expired. I'll try that for the consignment store. Couple Francoma plates. I believe. Is that the. No, there's more to them. But anyway, I love Francoma. Well, some of it will sell on eBay. Some of it will go to the consignment store, and I can give the rest to Todd. I just, 
If it's five dollar fill a bag and then you have something to do. Got this crystal angel. Oh, that was a candle holder. There's no hole in her head. And another one. I don't know if this is a set. No, they look different. Crystal bowl or dish. Oh, candle holder, princess house. This Francoma said as is, but I'm like, where's the, I'm missing it. Oh, right there. There we go. That's a damage. I don't know. I can bring it to my brother. <laughs> That's my brother or the consignment store. Eh, I can try the consignment store first. Um, some little vintage, um, ashtray holders probably. Yeah. Grab this because these vintage electronics can really be valuable. So I'll have to look it up and see if this one is. It's just, I always used to pick up, um, hot curlers. Got some gel bronzer. And a little purse genuine leather another little coin purse new this is a valentine's day tablecloth it's torn but i don't think it was ever used so that's a good consignment store item little mary inglebright um, eyeglass case another consignment store is one of these um clips and then I love to get vintage coloring books. Yogi's Christmas. I don't think it was colored in. Did I could see? I love these. It's in pretty good shape. A little are there, but 59 cents originally. Ah. All right, next bag. I had to get these. How fun are those? Lise, do you see these squeezy bottles? <laughs> you can put your ketchup in there. <laughs> That's a good consignment store item. Whoops. That was the bag I was just pulling things out of. Oh, okay. This is so funny. I'm going to give this to one of the nieces or nep niece or nephews and see if they want to play it. All right. It's new in the package. Um, let's see. Push pins. I was... There's a bunch of craft stuff. I was kind of grabbing it. A golf pen. How funny is that? Consignment store. Um, a lot of these uh, crystal-like things. Does that have a chip in it or is that part of it? I can't. I think that's a chip. Anyway. A little bear. Look at him. He's cute. A um, bunch of Mary Inglebright, these little signs. That'll be a good consignment store. A little Mary Inglebright plate. It has a mug with it. Mug. I'll just see what these are going for. I might do like a Mary Inglebright lot, to be honest. Oh, there it is. And we have this. It's a salt and pepper shaker. I think there was only the one. This little frog. And I don't know what these are. Wings. Wings. We've got a pig cookie cutter. On sale for 99 cents. These little vintage ashtrays made in Japan. How fun is this packing tape? Shipping tape, I'll use that. Two rolls of that. Um, so like, I don't know, little bells. Another piece of crystal. I need to look that up. Let's see if it has a brand. More golf. No, there's a dog in there. That is funny. What are those? I need research. Research. This one's another golfer. That one doesn't have a break. Another of those. I got that for Jeffrey. He 
He'll probably see this and be like, I don't want that crap. Oh no, his foot broke off. I wonder if it's in the bag. That is the only bad thing about a fill bag. Things break. We got some vintage dolls. Another one of these bell things. Some Hawaii postcards. I got these because they, um, I've been to Hawaii and I wanted cards. And this is from Oahu, which is where we went. Another flamingo. I'll probably give those to Stella. Some flamingo stir sticks. Um, this is some jewelry making stuff. Another, oh, that's broken. Something was on that and now it's not. Hmm, something goes in there, but I don't know what. Another doll. Another doll. Oh my gosh. Um, and this was me just grabbing things and throwing them in the bag. It's one of those little ashtrays. What do we have? Um, oh, jewelry making supplies. Except for that one, it fell off. So these are things I'll try at the consignment store first. I don't know what that is. Crafting, crafting, buttons, pins, corsage pins, earring loops. Ring. Is this a vintage not made in China? I always grab like patches and just it's fun. It's fun. It's another thing where it fell off. Oh no, it didn't. There it is. Doll accessories. Things. Okay. <laughs> Hello, gorgeous sticky phone wallet. Patches, 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 jewelry, beads. Anytime, I don't know what that is. Um, you know, if something's new in the package. It's just a great thing for me to take to the consignment store and see if they will take it. Sometimes they won't, but if they do, easy, easy peasy, for me easy. <laughs> Another one of those bells, got that. Oh my gosh. Random bits. Another, okay, that's meant to be there. That one. And more jewelry. Next bag. So this is, there's only three in here. There should be four. But they're from Boston Warehouse. Just made in China, so I don't think I don't know if Jeffrey will want that. He mainly just does the vintage stuff. Oh, yes, the modern pieces. I I can't resist a mug still in the box. In the box, it's still in the box. I love mugs that are still in the box. Tea mug. Good. Yes, you have enough of this Mary Inglebright stuff that I could do a lot. So I think that would be the plan. Got some napkins. These are all bookmarks. I grabbed it because I saw Fozzie Bear. A little wood cutlery. That's from Target. Crystal baseball paperweight thing. More Air Mary. More Mary Anglebright. I grabbed all the crystal I could. This one, is that a crack or part of it? That's a chip. Yeah, that's a chip. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, it was a baseball glove. Oh, that's what it was. But big chip. It's a turtle. Those are things I'll, I'll have to look up. Decide a list or consignment store. This is a candle holder. 
another one of these. I have another one. Where'd the other one go? Um, now I got two. I look them up. Gotta look them up. Oh no, they go this way. Duh. They're candle holders. Good lord. I'm like, what statue is this? It's a candle holder. Another candle, and it's signed. I gotta look that up. <laughs> I gotta look that up. Another little thing for the consignment store. These are coasters. Again, consignment store. Candle holder. That's a mm, swan? Or is it a... I don't know. It's, it's a bird or a fish. And another one. That's a bear. Eek. Another patch. And then some, there's tissue paper and wrapping paper in here. I just wanted the tissue paper. Some flamingo confetti for Jeff Jeff. And a game, new and sealed, consignment store. Ah, last bag. No, I'm not going to put you in the trash pile. This little mug, 1997 probably had a cup with it or a mug a saucer gosh darn it why can't I think straight it's like it looks like the Mary Inglebright uh font hmm or else Debbie Munn but it's not marked these are just really nice milk glass glass bake like a soup mug and there were four of them and they stack Really nice condition. Some fishing net. That goes in my brother's bag. I don't know if these are vintage or reproduction, but I'll give them to my brother. Um, I love anything in a box. Look at these. Coasters. Silver plate and crystal. Made in where? Where were you made? Hong Kong. Yay. Um... Who else had one? Who else had one? And just some poster hangers. Like I said, I, I like to grab anything that's new in the package at these kind of sales. That's not a crack. Aw, oh, feck. It's a big, no, that's sticky. It's not a chip, it's sticky. Some fix it fast button expanders, whoops. See at the consignment store. Take them. These are silicone egg rings. You can make your egg look like a star. These, the consignment store. I don't know if this is vintage or nope. Consignment store. <laughs> One of these, brand new and sealed. Consignment. This is so, what are these? Hmm. Stainless Korea. Little mini forks for like pickles, olives, or stick it in your baby's mouth. A Swift peeler. Easiest peeler you'll ever use. We'll see about that. This piece of Milk glass. I don't see a mark, but it's very pretty. Whoa. The consignment story probably put that in its um antique section. This bowl, which is March. Um Benning. I can't read it. I can't read it. Well, it's mine now golf little uh, trinket tray that's perfect for the consignment store for father's day coming up little cane strap this was refresher oil <laughs> and then these plates again great for the consignment store so a lot of good stuff for me to take to consignment and stuff for ebay and then i can give the rest to my brother there is some garbage, you know, broken things in here, but yeah, really, really, really good. Love it.
I love a I could just fill a bag every day. I have to send a better picture of this to Jeffrey and uh, Misty and see if either of them might know. I get a better look. Well, hello, it is much later in the day. I'll give you the nice view of Longhorn Steakhouse and all the rain, but I'm here to pick up dinner. But I did want to go ahead and end the vlog. Um, I uh, love to come and just get food. You know, that last, this will last days. I got it last week and it lasted for days um, with the leftovers. So it's just easier for me. And I got Papa a meal off the kid's menu. Cheeseburger, mashed potatoes, and a chocolate milk. That's what he asked for, so we shall see. Maybe that'll go down better for him. But anyway, um, I hope you guys liked this vlog. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Um, make sure to check all of the links in the description box under the video. You can go check out my books, my eBay store, my Etsy shop. All my social media is there. And I will see you guys in the next vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.